All right, in an effort to try and help you have the best results in Blender, I have a house here with some things that are causing some problems. And I want you to be able to spot these problems for yourself. Uh, if you look at the house here, that's the same angle that I have here in Blender. And you can see that if I go into the fully rendered mode, that there's some few things wrong. Um, the windows are just all red. Some of them have windows and others have holes in there. Um, otherwise, it doesn't look half bad. We got a single SketchUp file. That means it was grouped. Um, and we do have our light here. It's over here with the camera. So this is the new startup file that I created and taught you how to create so that we don't have to delete the cube every time. Now, with this being a problem, we're not going to be able to, uh, like, use this particular Blender file. So when you have to go back to SketchUp, say File, New, and, and don't save those changes. Let's go back to SketchUp and see what we can find out. First of all, I can't tell if this house is centered because I don't have the axis. Okay, so without that axis, um, I didn't know that it was not on the green one. Um, let me take a look at my entity info as well. Um, you got to have your default tray with entity info open to know what it is you're looking at. So when I select this house, I can see I have one group and there's no paint on it. That's the symbol for no paint. So let's go in and take a look at this window. Okay, so this window shouldn't have any red on the whole window. This one doesn't. So that's why this one looked different than that one. So I am going to take the paint off. We do that with our materials. So let me collapse scenes and get down to materials just so that I can get to the paint strippers, what I call it. This is a default no paint and you can actually paint with that. So when I click on the window, it takes it off. So let's take a look at the others and just make sure that red paint didn't get splashed on any other surfaces. This is one of those things you're supposed to do before you do your exporting because you'll spot problems like that one. That Instead of doing an export, bringing it in, and then realizing, oh, there was another window, take a moment, check all of your different groups. These are special groups called components, and then see what that looks like, okay? So let's say I didn't know about the axis. Another thing that I would do is control A and select every single face on the house. Right click and flip it inside out. Take a look. If you have paint on the house itself, the windows didn't flip. Those are groups within groups. But you really should see all reverse faces. If you see any color on any of these reverse sides, then that's going to cause some problems too. If everything looks good, just control Z and bring it back out. So let's try this again. File, export the 3D model. I'm here in my Blender folder from SketchUp, and this is my problem solving house. I'm going to give it another try. This is going to be, I normally just change the date since I may be doing this several times. I'll add a B right there. So I've exported again. I've got Blender already ready to go, and I'm going to file, import, and let's go get the B version in Blender. So here's B. Switch it to the fully rendered mode, and the house still has some problems. Let's see what else we might have to do. Now, while I'm here, I'm going to show you why that centering is so important. It may be like, well, I can just put the camera where I want to, but look what happens when I rotate the whole house. Make sure that I've selected SketchUp. And right here, going to rotate the house. Look at how it spins. That's going to look really funny. It's going to be hard to keep it inside the camera view if the whole house is going crazy like that. So let's go back to SketchUp and see what else could be wrong here. Uh, let's fix this part real quick because it's pretty easy if you've got a dark bottom and you got the M move tool you won't see it until then you can see that ah, it is lined up on red but the green axis is down here so I'm gonna click next to 
I'll zoom in a little bit next to the little marker and I'm going to move it. I want it. It's got to be on red so I can force it to be on red or green with my arrows. Now it doesn't matter. It's only going to move on red and I just go and go to the green line and it went right to it because that was the same distance as was needed. Let me move it off a little bit so you can see that again next to it. I want to move it to the green axis. Now it's centered. So that's the centering part, but what is it about these windows? I'm going to go in here. There's my group. It's not painted, but what is wrong? Well, let's do the same thing we did with the house. Go into the group, control A, right click and flip it inside out. It looks as though the reverse faces on our windows got painted as well. So I'm going to take this. Uh, it's all selected, so these faces are going to be painted with paint stripper. So I'm going to take it off. And now I've got windows that look like they've been flipped inside out. So again, Control A selects all the faces in the group, and I'm going to reverse them. Now I did not shift click on the red because I wanted to keep this red. It would have taken that off too or changed it all to none. So I just had the faces selected and say, paint these with the paint stripper. All right, so let's take a look. We've got our house. It's grouped. It's centered. I'm going to save this. And I'm going to save it as the C version here. So that's the SketchUp file. You would normally just change the date to today's date, and then you know which one of those is good. Let's do a file export here. 3D model, keeping the colada. Let's do the C version now. I saved the file with C, so it already says C. Do not move the DAE file into the folder. Don't rename it. If you move one, the other one has their partners. Without the two of them, it's going to be a problem. And again, don't try and delete the house. If you press delete, whoa, what happens? It, it makes a huge and yeah, it's a real problem. There is a way to do it but I think it's better to just start all over. But here it is, delete hierarchy, and it deletes everything attached to everything. File, import, or better yet, file new general. Just start fresh and then import the Colada file. Let's go into our SketchUp folder that's got Blender stuff, and there is the C version. And I'm going to switch it to the fully rendered mode. And now I've got windows that look like they're supposed to. And I've got my textures in place. And the rest of the tutorials that are on week 21 will be possible, like adjusting the color. This really isn't red anymore. Um, where is that light? Is it bright enough? I don't know. Let me press Control, Alt, and 0 and get a good F12 render of it and see what does it really look like when I bounce the light rays from the light off the house and into the camera. This is our appearance right now. Then we move on to making adjustments to that. So those are several problems that were fixed in SketchUp. You can't fix them in Blender. So have SketchUp open and keep it there until you get the results that you want. And as you save it, save it with a new name so that if you really mess things up and you realize, oh my gosh, I deleted all those windows or something happens, you don't have to redo all your work.